Hey friends, it's Jen Jones here. I am making and creating for Happy Go Teach a few things in PowerPoint and several of you have expressed a desire for me to sort of turn on the camera when I'm doing things in PowerPoint so you can sort of see what I'm doing. So in order for me to do that, I have to turn the camera sideways so you can see my whole computer screen and I have a really large Mac. So it's um, gonna have to be this way for a little while. So I hope you guys can see, <laughs> I feel like I'm scrunching down in here. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Jen Jones. And for those of you watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. I'll try to save this. Hey, Cammie. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around. I'm making some note paper for Happy Go Teach, but I want to show you how to do it in case you want to make note paper for your own teacher binder, or maybe if you're going to a staff meeting and you take notes, I know that the Happy Go Teach conference, we're really trying to promote it as a paperless conference. And we sell, we send flip PD um, documents out before and afterwards, and we really are trying to model paperless um, instruction. But I know there are some type of some type of learners that do like to take notes and create teacher binders. So if that's your thing, then this would be something that you could create for your own um, teacher organization. And so I want to show you how to do that right now. So let me flip the camera around so you can see my computer screen and hear me. Hey everyone. Okay, so here we are. Um, what I did is I first created this page one. This is gonna, I'm gonna be inc including this electronically in the email that I send to all the attendees tonight. So if people are coming to Friday the 22nd, then it'll say the 22nd. If you're coming to Saturday the 23rd, then it's gonna say the 23rd. And if you're not into making a binder, which I do not suggest, then you wouldn't print this page out at all. But if you want to make a binder, then of course this is for you, this page is for you, and that's totally fine. But this is the page that I was going to talk to you about and show you how to make right now. It's basically like a notes page. And what I'm going to do is start sort of start from scratch. So I'm going to insert a text box into the very top here. And I'm going to use a font that is going to be on the home page here. I'm going to use Hello Texas. And I'm going to go to the very largest one that's preset, which is 96. And I'm going to type in all caps the word happy and then I'm going to insert another text box for the word notes and I think I actually want that to be more like a hundred so I'm going to have to change my uh, font size to a hundred and I'm going to be using um, Amy Grosbeck's font here called boss lady and I'm going to type the word notes here let me put it in there and there is back to 18 so let me turn it back up to 100 and I want to make it a little thicker so I'm going to put the bold on and now I'm going to move it up here next to the word happy and I want to change each uh, I want to change the color of each letter in happy so you have to select I'm going to change each letter to a different color to match our water bottle labels over here which you can sort of see over here on the side. See right over here, I have an open, I have the image screen open on the right hand side and I'm gonna color match for um, all the colors that are in here. And when you color match, I'm gonna show you how to color match. So I wanna make the H that exact same aqua color. So I'm gonna highlight the H and I'm going to um, go up here to the color box up here and I'm gonna, where it says more colors, you select this little eyedropper. So when you select the eyedropper, oops, I gotta move this over. Hold on, uh, let me undo that. I gotta bring this out, out of the way. Okay. So when you select the color and the eyedropper, more colors, eyedropper, you put the it over the color that you want and it color matches it exactly. So now the H, is that color and I'm gonna highlight the A, more colors, eyedropper, and go to the green. So this is really cool. So if you don't have that color palette saved somewhere and you wanna make it the exact same color palette but it's not in there anymore, you can just use that eyedropper feature to match the colors exactly. So again, more colors, eyedropper, go to the yellow, highlight the next P, more colors, go to the eyedropper, and make the pink and I'm 99% sure that the Y 
Um, oh, this happens a lot. Let me show you how to problem solve this. When you just want to change the last letter and you're trying to highlight it from the front of the letter, but everything changes and you don't want that, move your cursor to the back side of the Y and hit the backspace button. And then you can just highlight the Y and that's red. So I'm going to keep that red. Okay. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this really cool feature around, um, oops, I'm going to put this cool feature around the happy so that you can see on here it looks kind of like an outline so i'll make the outline by to make the outline you have to you have to grab the text box go to copy and hit paste when you go to copy and paste now you have a whole second word happy and you just want it to be a what you just want it to be clear on the inside and white on the on the outline so you're going to select the whole thing right click and go down to format text effects when you go format text effects, a pop-up comes over here on the right and you have to select text options and click on text fill. I want no fill and I want a solid line and I want it to be black. So now I'm going to thicken it up just a tad by increasing it there. And then I'm going to move it up and over the word happy. And as soon as I have it on top of it, it looks like an outline. But if I, if I just slightly move it up a little bit and over a little bit then it looks off it looks just looks off center like that and that's really kind of fun a lot of people are doing that right now it's really kind of a fun little feature then um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to insert another text box to make some um to make some dotted lines like this so if you just want to take a page of notes and you just want like whole blank lines or if you just want to make a to-do list or something then what you do is you insert a text box and I like to make my text box go a little bit farther outside the line there and when I make notes pages or when I make note lines for like products or for things that have lots of blank lines I personally like to use my font called hello senior high and I put it on 20 and then I use the dash that so the dash is actually I don't know if you can see it clearly but it's actually a whole bunch of little tiny dotted lines and I just think that's like a really cool feature to have it's kind of like a novel way to make a dotted line so I'm actually going to stop after two and I'm gonna select the two lines and hit copy and I'm just gonna hit copy and paste down the rest of the page back to the rest of the page so now I've got my notes page here so if I turn on if I go to full view I can, you can see here that we've got a notes page with dotted lines and this is what the dotted lines look like up close so see they're real cute they're just like little tiny dots okay so that's really kind of how you do it um, and then if you also wanted to just create like um, like let's say you wanted to create one that just had your name on it like if you wanted to make one that said your name at the top with um with uh so a notes pages just were, that was like personalized for you okay and so let's say your name is mrs alexander okay so the font i'm using right here is called hell uh babbling susanna babbling susanna and I like to make it stretch all the way across the page as far as I can without shrinking it too much. And so a little trick I use a lot too is do you see the space between the dot and the A right here? See the space right here? It's kind of large. If I backspace one, then I'm sitting right on top of the period. But if I hit the space bar, then since this, this font is at 93 points right now, if I just grab the space between the period and the A and shrink it from 92 to 20, then Mrs. Alexander fits and I've reduced the amount of space between the dot and the A. So that's, that's really nice. And you can do the same thing right here. So you can, again, you can change all the colors in the name or, um, you can go ahead and make one of those text boxes again where it's just like looks like an outline oops i didn't do it and where you hit copy paste and remember when you hit copy paste you have to highlight the name right click for format text effects go to the text it's no fill and it's a solid line that's black and then all you do again is you move it up and you just off center a little bit so now it looks like that that's a that's a no fill and a black line. That's how you do that. 
And then the one last thing I wanted, just wanted to show you about the notes, like so this is something that's also kind of popular right now is, um, let me go back to Mrs. Alexander and make a new text box, but if you wanna make a text box that is, let's make it kind of big and let's make the word be hello. And let's go and go back to change it to hello Texas. And again, let's change each letter to one of the ones that we sh that showed before. And the, right now is a solid, these are solid colors, but it's, um, you can make the colors transparent as well. Oops, I forgot the green one. Let me put the green in there. And so again, sometimes you have the backspace on the last letter. And so anyway, so you've got hello here, but say you wanted to make it transparent, so this is kind of popular. So if you highlight the whole word again, you go to the text options, and where it says solid fill, you just change where it says transparency. And you can change, um, blah, blah, blah. what did I do? Didn't mean to do that. If you have to do it letter by letter, so you're gonna, again, you're gonna change the transparency for the, um, for the blue to just a light blue. And then for the E, uh, same thing. You're gonna click on the transparency and move it to, I'll move it to about 50%, okay? And so you notice that when you um, change the transparency on everything that it makes everything lighter, it sort of looks pastel, even though it's not pastel, but just kind of has that look. And so, it's really ficky with the fickle with the last letters. And so now you've got um, more pastels, but it's nice to overlay pastels on top of other text. And that's kind of nice too. And then I'll, I do want to show you one other feature and that's how people kind of get like a jogging look and where the letters are kind of boxed here and there, kind of jumbled, even though it's not meant to be jumbled. So I'm going to take like this H and make it small again. And so I'm gonna make the H and I'll make I'm gonna make copy it four times. Copy one, two, three, four. Okay, so now I have my O, my L, my E, and then I'm gonna make hello. But this time when I go to make hello, I'm gonna change it to the capital E. And then do you see this tilting circle right up here? I'm gonna grab it and tilt it. Okay. And if you tilt it over the, the E, and then you go back to your, um, what, what was next? Um, the green color, and you turn the transparency on again, then it kind of looks, see how now it looks transparent. I'm gonna make this L, and that was a the yellow color. And we'll put that on. I'll turn the transparency back and then again I'm going to grab it and turn it sort of put it up here now and I'm going to grab the L I'm going to copy the L I'm going to copy paste the L and make another L but I really want the L to be um, the pink color and I want to make it transparent and it already is transparent so I'm going to make this L go back this way so you're going to turn it that way Make it go like that. And then here's my O. And the O was red. So I'm gonna click on the red, but it's I don't want it solid red. So I'm gonna go back to transparent. And then I might put that one here and overlap the L a little bit. So now your H, um, now your H yellow is kind of looks has that jumbled look. So that is how you do in PowerPoint the um, the different ways to make the outline and the font and make note paper and make the transparent jumbled letters. So how do you copy paste like that without highlighting? What well, what's the question? How do you hi Crystal? How do you copy and paste like that without highlighting? That was totally wrong. Um. What do you mean? I don't know the question. The, my best suggestion would be just to go back and re-watch this um, Instagram Live again 
so that you can um, just see how I did it. I didn't, when you did the H several times. Oh, when I did the H several times? Oh, when I did the H several times, I went like this. Okay, so I'll show you again. So I did the H, I grabbed it, I clicked it on the border, and then I went up here to copy, and I hit paste four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. And then I made four of them. So I literally did it by clicking copy, but I hit paste four times. I just hit paste four times. That's all I did. And now I'm going to hit the back arrow four times. One, two, three, four to get that. So yeah, super shortcut. Yep, just duplicating things. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you have a good night. Um, what? What? Oh, I know. This is like Happy Go Teach production zone out here. Abby's got, um, she's making all the, she's making all the swag bags for Happy Go Teach. Um, I do, what, I had no idea you could hit, yeah, totally. It saves so much time. I am going to show you, I am going to give you guys a sneak peek though, because I've, I've been, I've been playing around in PowerPoint a lot lately. And today I created, um, I created something really cool today. Um, that I'm going to show and share with you at another time, just not today. Um, yes, I know. I'm so excited to see all my friends at Happy Go Teach, my Canadian friends. Um, this is what I'm, <laughs> this is what I was, when I should have been working on other things, this is what I was doing today. Um, I made, oh, I made this. Okay, so you guys all know the book Wonder, right? the book wonder so I made I'm not doing anything with this I just was playing around in clip art I'm really I'm trying to explore more with how to make clip art in hey Luana how to make clip art in PowerPoint so I made this in PowerPoint today yes I make almost everything in PowerPoint I don't make my fonts in PowerPoint um, I use the font I use the app art studio to make some of the clip art that I make but I've been experimenting with making clip art in PowerPoint more, and I made this in PowerPoint today. I made that guy in PowerPoint today. Just with, just using, see? Just using the shape features it, that come included in PowerPoint. So literally, like literally just this insert shapes, like this menu right here of shapes, I used all of those shapes to make that guy, except for the word wonder I used in word art, right? So it's super, super fun, super easy um, to do. There's just some layering, but I'm gonna do another kind of tutorial on that like another day. Like I really have to get on how Pappy go teach tonight and send all the attendees their email tonight. And then the other one I made today that's fun is, um, yeah, it's fun is uh, this one, okay. This one um, is also made totally in PowerPoint. Um, this one right here is just a, um, a, rect uh, a rectangle with the corners kind of, um, with the corners um, just shaped up a little bit. And then this is the moon feature. And this is just three different fonts right here and just kind of layered, again, layered those wibbly wobbly there. I would love to be part of a super conference in Vancouver, but my October is so booked this year, maybe next year. Um, but so I want to just share with you guys, though, if you if you really want to be a part of this kind of PowerPoint clip art club tutorial thing, um, you really are going to want to get and there's a really cool free desktop software that you should get called Jing, J-I-N-G. It's this little tiny sun right here. And it's totally free. It's screencasting, screen capture software that comes free. Again, it's called J-I-N-G. And it's, ha it's sort of the way you can capture things. Like, for example, if I just wanted to capture, for some example, somebody just asked me, how am I going to save this? Um, you could, let me go back to the page right here. Uh, this page right here, how am I going to save it? Someone asked me. I'm gonna save this as, right now it's in PowerPoint, but I could go up to um, File. 
I could save as a PDF. I could and um, save it as a PDF and that works, but you can also save it as an image file. So that way it's like on your camera roll. So also you could, if you have a notes app you wanna save notes in, then you have to export it as a PNG. So right here you save it as a PN, uh, PNG file and it saves every slide as a PNG slide, which means an image file. So you could like literally put these pages into your camera roll is now these pages are saved like that. So that's how I'm gonna save that. But Jing is, Jing is screencasting software that like, let's say I just wanted to just grab this out of the here or something like that. So I would go up here to Jing, I click on the plus sign, and then I get like these little crosshairs. Can you see the crosshairs here? And so let's say I just wanna capture just this here. So it lets me drag wherever I want to capture and save it as an image. And so it asks me, I'm gonna capture it as an image and then I'm just gonna hit like, I'm gonna hit save. I didn't really save it as anything, save it to the desktop. And so that's there. And then if I check, close everything out. Yep, I'll be right there, Abby. Now it's on my desktop as an image right there. So if I click on it, it opens up as an image and I can save it or insert it somewhere. Jing is not an app for, it's a desktop application. So it's, they have Jing for, it sort of looks like this, Jing, J-I-N-G. Um, really easy, it's totally free. Let me type it into Google for you right now. It's called Jing, J-I-N-G. And it, the website, it's the first hit on Google. Um, can you save it with a transparent background like a PNG? Um, so that's a good question. Anyway, this is Jing. It's literally right there. It says download and it asks you if you're Mac or PC and that's it. It's super free. It's super easy. You just need to make an account, but it's free and it just automatically just this little sun. As soon as you have it downloaded, this little sun will appear in your desktop and you can grab anything. Somebody asked me about making images transparent. So do you see how the image right here is not transparent? So there, I know there's probably different ways to do this and I know there's a toolbox available here and I could probably make the image transparent, but the easiest way for me to make an image uh, transparent is to, let me grab a new slide here. Let me show you how I do it. Um, let's just say that the background of this slide was, um, let's make it gray, okay? So just so you can really see that it is transparent when I make it. Um, let's, let's turn it to green. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the, the image there that I just made, and you see we, we're trying to get rid of the white. I'm showing you how to get rid of the white. No, Jing does not lose quality. Mm -mm. It does not. Sometimes it actually has better quality than my own computer PNGs. Sometimes I have to increase the resolution when I'm saving things as an image in PowerPoint as a PNG just to get it higher. But Jing's resolution is really good. So what you do to get rid of the white background here is you click on the image. You go up here to color and down to set transparent color. And then you go to the image and click in the white area and it gets rid of the background. Now the problem with doing that is it got rid of everything including the white letters. So to solve that problem I would insert um, a rectangle on top of the letters like I'm doing right now and then I would make it white and then I would send it to the back. Send to the back. And then you solve that problem. Is that, how is that? What do you think about that? Okay. <laughs> My daughter is calling me Jen Jones. She's telling me to come out and look at the Happy Go Teach um, factory that's in my living room right now. So here we go. Use the Excuse the mess, but this is what happens when you put on a conference. Yes, so we've been getting things in the mail for a few days. Fortunately, ETA Hand to Mind has donated all of our STEM supplies. Go Noodle has donated a ton of stuff to use, all right here. 
got all this fun stuff from um, from Go Noodle in a hot dog costume too, and this kitty cat. And this kitty. <laughs> this kitty. This kitty cat head. <laughs> um, yes. Yes. Then right click to save it as a PNG. Yes. Thank you. Um, to resave it with the transparent background. So this is Alexis, Abby's friend. This is Abby, and they are stuffing the swag bags right now. We got lots of cool stuff. I know, right? And this, is, this is literally the factory. We got swag from the book bag, the tours. book bag tours. We got clip art from Jen Hart Designs, 25 bucks. We got hand sanitizer from Teachers Pay Teachers. We've got um, luggage tags, Happy Go Teach luggage tags. We got Go Noodle lanyards. We've got tons and tons of really cool door prizes that companies are donating and giving away like furniture. Good morning, um, meeting book. Good morning, meeting book. These are all bagged. Oh, those are all bagged and ready to go. See, this is no joke, y'all. We all and have then, more stuff upstairs. And then we got like four or five copies of this amazing, amazing book called The Morning Meeting Book, which is amazing. I've been doing morning meeting for about, since about 2004. So i um, been doing morning meeting for a long, long time, and it's amazing. And that's just a little bit more stuff to put in of the production area. So thank you girls for your help. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you write us a note to excuse us from school no, on Friday? No, I'm not excusing you from school on Friday. <laughs> anyway, y'all, real life, hashtag real life uh, mom, teacher mom right here. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, <laughs> share all this with you and really just what turned into like a little PowerPoint PD turned into a whole 25 minutes. So I'm sorry about that. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I hope you guys all have a really great night and I'll see you soon.